Goodbye, Mrs. Darkin. I'm sick and tired of working. No more I'll pick the praties. No longer I'll be poor. But as sure as my name is Barney, I'm off to California. Instead of digging praties, I'll be digging lumps of gold. Hello there, children, and welcome to reading time with me, Granny Muffins. Now, today, I wanted to read you all a story that I was read as a child growing up in the old country, the home country, the better country. The book I will be reading you today is called The Little Mermaid. Some of you might remember The Little Mermaid from the Disney movie. It was a terrible movie. That is not how The Little Mermaid's story went. No, it did not. You'll, you'll find out why. Now, it's Danish. I wanted to read it to you because I loved it in the old country. Now, let's begin. The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. Page one. Once there was a little mermaid who was born in a palace under the sea and her father was the king of the entire ocean. Now, on the 15th birthday of every one of the king's daughters, they were allowed to go to the surface of the sea, where they would be able to see the world above and those who dwelt in it. Eventually, it was the little mermaid's turn to go see the surface above, and she saw a ship, and on that ship was a prince, and she fell in love with him from a distance. However, the ship the prince was on wrecked, causing him to almost drown. However, the little mermaid returned him to the shore where a woman, priestess, whatever, from a temple rescued him, sort of. She kind of brought him back to the village, wherever they lived. And the prince awoke and did not see any sign of the little mermaid. How tragic. Now, her falling in love with the prince, of course, led her to take some drastic measures. So she went to go see a sea witch, who, apparently, told her that she could give, make her a potion which would grant her the ability to walk on land. It would allow her to walk and to dance beautifully. However, the potion would feel like a sword being thrust through her thorax. And when she danced, she would dance the most beautifully throughout the world. However, she would always feel like she was dancing... Camera! She would feel like she was dancing on swords. Also, a benefit, however, from this was that when mermaids die, you see, they turn into sea foam and cease to exist, while humans have eternal souls that go up to the kingdom of God. The little mermaid, wanting an eternal soul, decided to agree. She took the potion and was immediately, well, you get the point, she was basically put on the shore, where the prince found her. So, she danced for him, even though, of course, it was agonizing. You know, really, I thought this was, really, this is far before the feminist movement, but honestly, it's kind of degrading dancing for him like so. Anyway. And they fell in love, sort of. The f prince's father basically arranged for him to marry a prince from the neighboring kingdom. However, he could not. Now, he couldn't because he was in love with the girl from the temple who rescued him. It's not fair. Oh, but it gets better. The girl from the temple was the princess from the neighboring kingdom. She had gone there to be have to get educated. So the wedding was announced. Now, the condition of him not falling in love with her was she was going to turn into sea foam and die of a broken heart. However, three of the Little Mermaid sisters came to the surface and told her that they had made a bargain with the sea witch that if the little mermaid would stab the prince with the knife that they had exchanged for their hair for um, the sea witch that the little mermaid would be turned back into a mermaid and all of her troubles and sufferings would go away and as she stood there over the prince lying with his wife camera lying with his wife in their bed 
she could not bring it to herself to kill him in his sleep. So she flung herself into the ocean, turning into sea foam. However, here's the, here's the thing. However, she did not cease to exist. Her spirit turned into an immortal spirit of the air. When she asked why this was, the spirit of the air told her that because she had so longed to be immortal with her soul and not to cease to exist, she was made into a spirit of the air where she would exist for all time and eternity and eventually be accepted into the kingdom of God. Now, as you can see, this is not the same story they tell you in the Disney movie. That is because the Disney movie is a lot of bull pucky. Now, of course, me being a good Irish Catholic woman, I would in no way want to, you know, deter, deter Danish stories because I, I like the Danish. So Hans Christian Andersen wrote that. And now you see why I like it so much. It has a sad ending. Although it's kind of happy because she doesn't die. Well, she does die, but you know what happens. So anyway. And so this was Reading Time with Granny Muffins. I hope you enjoyed it. Now this is Granny Muffins signing off. But before I go, this is Granny Muffins reminding you to watch Emil Jangles' videos, to subscribe to his YouTube channel, and to comment on his videos as well. Now me being an elderly woman, I can only say these few words. Where in God's name is my cigarette?